In this video, we are not going to jump into the GUI. What we're actually going to do is we're going to create object classes to be held in vectors that we will manipulate. If you're not familiar with vectors are, I'll go over that later on when we begin building a vector. But think right now it's a uh, better controlled list in C++. So first what we're going to do is we're going to create a header file and then we're going to follow it up with a .cpp file. In the header file, we are going to declare our class, which we're going to call word obj. You can call this word object if you prefer. I like the shortened version of obj. And then we will declare our private member variables. There will be three of them. We will have the string, which is the word that it will contain, a boolean for capital, which will test to see if the current word has the first letter of capital. And then we will also do a string for the last member variable, which will which we will call last char, and that will contain the value by default of nothing. But if the uh, word itself has the last in or the last index of the word is something like a period or a comma, it will hold it there. Next, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll create our constructor. I'm going to create two. I'm going to create an empty one and then one that contains all three private member variables. We'll then create a simple uh, setters and getters for the class. So go ahead and follow along.
Okay, so what we just did is we created a class and an interface. If you're not familiar with C++, C++ and you're more familiar with Java, um, just think of it as the fact that you're creating a class and then you will include the header file, which you can then, then call the methods or the functions from the header versus calling and having to instantiate like a .java or a .cpp object. So this is your definitions. This is what you call. Continue with the next video and we're going to create a, a header file called vector objects and this will create or contain functionality that we will use to translate the pig Latin aside from the actual pig Latin file that will have the translator in it.